ass freaking mint. Old princess is autos. So we're just uh, making some pens here now. Mike Mitchell. Look what we got here, buddy. Nice. Richie Bros. Well, holy. We started cutting a freaking solid. Got uh, just opening it up here. We can't pick up the wrapper from the vehicle. It's down at the Walmart until after supper. So today I'm just going to open this up and get a spot cut. Uh, where we're gonna put the old Yule log and uh, then we'll go from there. But fuck, is there a swath in here? She's ticking spots. Look at that. Oh, nice. Can't go very fast because the reel's gotta pull it in or it just uh, skips it over. We're doing what, three, a little over three mile an hour, 3.2. So that's pretty good. If the uh, reel would go a little bit faster, I'd probably go a little faster, but this is working all right. Uh, we're just using a hay bind. Some guys say they uh, use a swatter, but I talked to well, six guys, and four out of six guys said they use their hay bind. So that's what we're going to try. I guess I could have uh, thrown the 30 foot head on too and did a bit like that, but uh, I don't know. They say it's a little easier palatability. palatability. To uh, uh, eat it out of the bale like this, I guess. So, anyway, that's what we're up to. So, I gotta whip up in here on the dump, and uh, I'll probably just leave the header down, and I'll make a loop and then come back. Uh, that way, I can bale up all this stuff. So, I don't know if I get a. I'm probably gonna put a bit of peas in there, I guess, too. So, that'll be okay. <clears throat> Not gonna worry about that too much. I know you can't turn too sharp because the, uh, let's see if we plug it here. This fucking piece. Shouldn't plug. Because I gotta follow this path with the baler, so that's why I gotta kind of make a not so sharp a turn. You can hear the pods just flinging off there. <laughs> nice. Come on, get off there, you little bastards. There we go. Should cut. Should be all right. Sorry, you're you're turning the steering wheel for me. That's okay. I don't mind. Okay, so shitty in here on the old sand hill, but uh, whatever. That'll make a bail. Fucking finger in the road all the time. That dirty bastard. So as you can see, there's a bit of wild oats around the south side edge here where I didn't see it, or maybe I had a bit of trouble with the. Uh, wind when I was spraying that day and I didn't get a spray but that's okay I won't throw her in a bale she'll ferment so that's what we're up to today so I, uh, I'm going to open this up like I said and uh, I'm going to cut a little area I think it behind the combines there and that's where I'm going to set up the uh, the wrapper I think I'll have to ask uh, uh, so wife when she gets home but I think that's probably a good enough place as any She's kind of a cluster fuck over there. And then all the dry hay gets put there, up in the yard there. We kind of kind of put the dry hay in a few different spots in case it catches on fire. You never know, right? So, uh, yeah, that's the plan with that stuff. So, I'm going to make my way <clears throat> back to the combines over here. And uh, I'll get... Uh, I'll get it cut out here and uh, bring you back in a bit. I'm going to cut a little bit of this shit here uh, north-south and the rest of it's going to go uh, east-west because that's the longest longest stretches. So, yeah. And I got to go to town and deal with fucking insurance on uh, Brennan's Rig. Fucking what a joke. Piss me right off. Well, here we go. I got... Uh, you guys were asking me a little while back kind of guard you run well 
They're actually uh, two fifteens. If you buy them at like uh, uh, PV Mart or whatever, but I got macked on ones because they were on sale actually this time. And I had to go down to Ebrassa there, got the belts for the baler and whatnot from the last video. And got new springs, got a whole fucking box of springs. And replaced the ones that were shot. Um, so most of them are good, but I ended up, I cut the outside round on that barley and I broke a freaking sickle bolt. So I got that all changed up and she should be good to roll again here. I'm just going to check everything else over. And uh, she all looks good, so that's good. Nice. Now, I'm going to throw the uh, bale spear on the New Holland, I think. And uh, get hooked up to the baler and get that thing greased and ready to go. Because I, I cut, I don't know how many acres I cut. Maybe eight acres of the, not even, probably five acres of that barley. And, uh, and then that way the baler's ready to go. But I got my hitch on here for hauling bales. And I'm going to have to think, put this on army. And then I can haul bales in with him after. So that is the plan for right now. But uh, yeah. So here you go, Brandon. I was telling you where I mounted my uh, plug. I put it in here. Up on the tractor. That's where my uh, baler plug goes. And see, this one is plastic. And the one on my baler when we first bought it was plastic. But uh, yeah, the fucking pin went and the baler went. And pulled the PTO out, all the fucking wires. 1600 bucks later, maybe it wasn't that much, 1300 and we we're rolling again. So, yeah. The last time I used this thing, this baler, I, uh, uh, which one? This one? Yep. Last time I used this baler, I uh, blew it all off with the air compressor in hopes that when I went to grease it this time I wouldn't get covered with shit it's still not bad it needs a pressure wash so I'm not gonna bother doing that yet I'll uh, I'll do that when we're done bailing uh, before we put it away fucking sure it'd be nice to have a shed just start a fucking uh, patreon and a GoFundMe. maybe you guys can Throw me some money and I can... <laughs> oh, fucking corn star. Leave that down in the comments if you guys got that joke. Uh, right here. There we go. There. So there's quite a few grease nipples on this old girl. But really not too, too terrible. So, uh... I don't know if this one's seized or not. I couldn't get a whole lot of fucking grease in this one last time. But anyway, I'm going to uh, give it a grease. Chains are all good. I uh, had this big chain off last time. It was pretty good when I fixed all that shit up there. When I bust that roller right out of there, that was handy. I forgot to tell you guys about that. I'll climb up there. Uh, well, maybe I'll show you in the shop. But So right up. Uh, where am I pointing here? Right up at the top of the baler. There's a rubber, uh, what do you call it, drive roller. And, uh, it's a steel roller with like a fucking shaft about that big. Comes out that big bearing right there and goes right through. So that's where your main, your main power for your baler Comes from the gearbox and the cross shaft, goes here, goes up. These ones here, all they do is drive the uh, drive your rollers. See, so that's all they do. There's another roller down there. I think there's one, two, three, four, maybe four, four or five rollers anyway that's down there. But anyways, this main chain here goes up. I think that's an 80 heavy, heavy, heavy 80 chain, and drives up there. And this piece here. When you lift your end gate up, it pulls a mechanism. And these two little rollers right here slide up in there, disconnect your clutch, then your belt stop turning. And I had trouble with that last fall when me and Brendan were making straw. The fucking bolt fell out of the door. You can see right up there that new shiny bolt. Bolt. Right there. I put that in new. 
uh, last fall before I parked it. But he had a bolt in his tractor that we shoved in there and fucking was good enough. Um, anyway, I was bailing the alfalfa over at the other farm. And, uh, that's where the rake got stole. And I was giving her shit and fucking I whipped out and then I got rained out or I shut down for the night. So anyways, I came back, raked that little bit and I don't know how this happened. And, uh, fucking, okay, yeah, it's dry enough to bail. Pulled in there with the baler. I made a fucking bail about, I don't know, yay big, 35 incher, maybe 40. And I noticed, uh, the fucking belt started going goofy. And there was smoke coming out, actually. That's what I noticed first. There was, uh, up in that corner, there was fucking smoke coming out of there. So, I'll take you to the shop. I gotta go there anyway and get the grease gun. But, uh, what had happened, and I thought, okay, well, maybe there was net wrap in there. Well, there was no fucking net wrap. Well, there was net wrap, and I ended up digging it out. Here's this roller here. That was a $3,100 fix, this fucking shit, with new bearings in that roller. Uh, I got to get those off because I can save those bearings if I can get them off for spares. Uh, if not, at least I can keep the... I forgot what it's called. So here, what happened, it was broke underneath the rubber. And, uh, of course, you couldn't see it. So everything looked good. It wasn't the bearing was wasn't burning up. I thought, well, what the hell's going on? So cleaned all the net wrap out with a screwdriver and uh thought, okay, it's good enough, ready to go. Pull back in, same fucking thing. Smoking away. So then I uh on these uh New Holland balers to loosen the tension off your belts, you take a little handle and you flip it over. And I'll show you that another day, but or maybe I'll do it now. You flip it over and you loosen the tension off your belts. And then what I did is I uh, crawled up on the on the front of the baler and just lifted with my arms, and I could feel that fucking the brake was underneath that rubber inside there on this this big roller right here, and that goes all the way through in the drive. Um, here's that lever here I was telling you about. So you flip this out. You see that linkage goes way up there, and then what it does is it pulls out and locks underneath the spring. Then you close the door, and all your belts are loose. So, yeah, that's the story of that fucking roller. So, I got that fixed anyway. Uh, other than that, I haven't had any trouble with it really this year yet. Knock on wood. So, we'll see what she does in the old silage barley, I guess, and go from there. All right. Look at all the wind damage. You can see the trees laying all over. That was from that uh, Friday storm we had, I guess. Anyways, I was down at uh, Fuchs Farm Supply in Vibank. If you haven't been down there, there's some good deals. Uh, guy tried to support local, so that's pretty king. Uh, we got a roll in the... F Look at the fucking tree mark. Got a roll in the front. Spare roll in the back and net wrap. And uh, let's go try and make some silage bales. I threw the... Uh, Threw the bale spear on the front. I'm probably gonna need that after, anyways. But uh, yeah. So I think we're gonna see how big a bales we can make. I'm thinking somewhere around that 50 some inches, uh, as long as I can lift them with this fucking tractor. And I gotta make sure Army can lift them too. So, anyways, and then the bale processor. We're gonna pick them up with that and. Yeah, so on and so forth. So I'll bring you back when I uh, get out there. Band the combines. I'm gonna clean that up first. Oh, cause that's where we're gonna make the make the logs. So yeah, look at the fucking trees. One in the bin. Just wrecked the bin. Oh god. Anyway, we'll get this cleaned up Monday. I got some laces for that baler, and I got the shitty old belt. I've seen the kids playing over there. Um. I'm just probably going to splice that for now until I can make it down to uh, Nick's there. So, anyway, let's get this wrapped up here. Talk to you in a bit. All right, we're giving her. Fucking giving her 54 to 56 inch bales, and they are fucking heavy. Woo! Oh, there's another one. Easy, old girl. Focus. There we go. 
kick that guy out. He's not paying rent. They kind of were, uh, they kind of were right about uh, waiting a day. I uh, haven't had to clean the rollers off yet, so that's pretty good. I've got 10 bales made already off this little bit, so. Frickin' A, boys! Frickin' A! Another one down there with the hawks on it. So I'm on my second strip here. I cleaned up that little area. I think I got seven up top there, so that's pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Seems to be all right. Hopefully the moisture's good and it ferments good and whatever else. We're not adding uh, any, what do you call inoculant or whatever, uh, silo guard. So see what happens. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at them little bastards. God, they're just cute. Just really cute. So we're gonna, I'm just kind of cleaning up this end here a little bit and we can, uh, <coughs> excuse me, come back and uh, work my way back down there again later on. But uh, I had to get that cleaned up at the top there so I can uh, set up the wrapper, so. Pretty good swath and spots. Looking good, looking good, Jerry. Oh yeah, fill those corners. Fill them up. Not so bad. After I blew out that uh, one sensor there I was showing on the, I think it was the last video. Uh, I haven't had any trouble since, so I don't know if this heavy, heavy, wet, sticky shit will fuck it up again or not, I don't know, but time will tell, folks, time will tell. So I think what I'm going to do is make one more fail, which I just about got made here, and uh, I'll probably shut this down and then go pick up the, uh, pick up the bagger up in the yard, and bring it out here and get it set up and get Army unhooked and hook up a trailer to the bale wagon and uh, go from there and then all that oh another bale and then all that stuff is uh, ready to go here so right now we're putting on uh, two and three quarter wraps is what I got it set for so that's pretty good good enough okay throw in another one so if you if you look on the uh, on the belt you can see the barley sticking so that's all right, that's just, uh, that's pretty much the heads is what it's on there, so. Anyways, I think uh, Ashley should be home here shortly. Uh, she ran down to uh, Peebles to pick up some darts for the, uh, pick up some darts for the gun. So I think what I'm gonna do now is take my truck and uh, head up to the yard. Or I mean, take the, leave the baler here head up to the yard and uh, bring my truck out with the wrapper and get that all set up so I'll uh, bring you back here in a few good enough alrighty maybe I'll go to the other side Anderson Cattle Co how's she going Ben old buddy old pal anyways uh, so we got an Anderson wrapper she's RB 9000 Point one, and uh, it's not ours. We're renting it from uh, some friends of ours. And uh, once I get the levers all figured out, I'll give you a crash course, I guess. Maybe I'll just uh, worry about getting it working here first. We'll see. I'll bring bring you back in a bit. Oh yeah, this is the brake. He showed me that. He showed me everything. I'll figure it out once uh, we get going here. So 